Let's take a look at our Shad Reapers. So this is a little two inch bait that is actually real similar to our all purpose kind of shad body stinger tails um, with one major difference. You can see the stinger tail has a really twitchy little tail which the slightest little movement will twitch and kind of go wild where this reaper has a leech like tail. So this will actually catch kind of any microcurrent or uh, any little jigging action and just slowly wave in the current. So it's just a different type of action uh, for when the fish uh, are maybe a little more sluggish, a little more picky, and they don't want something so twitchy. Um, this is a great little, little choice. So you can absolutely fish it just like this on a jig. You can shoot docks with it. Um, you can fish it just normally jigging it back. Um, you can put it on a slip float just like this, like most crappie fishermen will traditionally do. You can even put it on a, a split foam float. This is good for uh, fishing shallow water, two, three feet or so. I don't know if I mentioned in the beginning or not, but this guy is two inches long. Um, and the hook that usually works best for this is a size six or so. You can see a size six will take up the majority of the body on this bait. You could size down to a size eight. Um, and you could even squeeze a four on here if you really, really wanted to. But um, a size six jig head here seems to fit this bait uh, pretty, pretty good. So another way you can fish this, just like a lot of baits nowadays, is on a, if I can find it here, on a drop shot rig. Find the tag end. Oh, there we go. Got your weight and little owner mosquito hook pinned between a drop shot knot. I do have a video also on our YouTube page on how to tie this inline knot for micro baits. And for this bait, uh, a size two, which I have here, it's about as big as you'd probably want to go. Um, a size four will also work just fine or any other similar type of little short shank hook with a straight eye or just slightly upturned eye would work just fine. And you can simply just nose hook this bait just like that and it will sit perfectly horizontal or perpendicular to your line as you um, twitch and retrieve that back nice and slow. So great little bait, um, has that little leech-like tail, which catches a lot more um, in the little microcurrents and um, will move uh, as you just slightly move that bait up and up and down and it'll just kind of wave in the current. So really cool little bait. Um, we have it available in a lot of different colors. This is actually one of our newer colors. Uh, I've used it in some of our other videos. Really cool color, it's called Electric Watermelon. It uh, has kind of a translucent, fleshy tone on the bottom, with more of a olive tone on the top, all mixed with this pearlescent blue hue. So believe it or not, they actually look better in person than they do uh, on video or on camera. The pictures really don't do them justice, but uh, this is one of our newer colors, and you can see all the black flake in there too. Uh, it's a really, really, really cool color. Um, it's also a good color for when fish are highly pressured and a little picky because this is a color that isn't too bright um, and it's a color they haven't really seen before. So that is our little Shad Reapers in the two inch size. And you can find these guys on our website, moondogbaitco.com.